If you're using SaaS platforms like Microsoft Power Platform and you have users complaining about bad performance or errors and you lack the code level visibility, because most of these SaaS platforms are very closed systems, kind of black boxes, then check out these sessions. I had the pleasure to work with Robert and together in collaboration, we implemented a solution where we get insights into SaaS platforms like Microsoft Power Platform using open telemetry as a standard to extract traces, log exceptions, and then send it to observability tools like Dynatrace to really get to the root cause of when users are complaining, what is the performance problems, what is the reason, what code is actually causing issues. So check out the session and also check out the listing on the Dynatrace hub in case you want to make your experience better when observing and troubleshooting your Microsoft Power Platform. Welcome everyone to another observability clinic. Today, we're having a look into Microsoft Power Platform. Actually, what we try to do is we try to figure out how can we get insights into a black box like Microsoft Power Platform, which is used by many organizations around the world. Like many other SaaS pro products, uh, it's a black box. You cannot install an agent. But uh, thanks to Robert and Coop, uh, you guys, uh, you've worked with many organizations around the world, help them optimize their Microsoft Power Platform, and you also figured out a way how to get insights into this. And then in the collaboration we started a while ago around Open Telemetry, you are now exposing your data to Open Telemetry, which means we can send this data to Dynatrace. And uh, Robert, thanks for being here. Thank you as well. Um, I'm very happy to be here today, of course. And yeah, it's very interesting. We have a lot of exciting use cases today. And of course, we talk about Power Platform, but also how we can basically play, uh, break the black box and see, OK, what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. Cool. And we have two uh, use cases prepared. Uh, I would like to show you a few slides. So we have a high level overview. And then we will do a live demo where we can see, OK, what are the entry points, what are the triggers, and how we can basically analyze the traces within Dynatrace. Yeah? Mm -hmm. and very interesting thing is, I think you already mentioned that, yeah, uh, we are working with the black box. So mm -hmm. we have some things where we can change some stuff, we can customize the environment, we can add some code, we can deploy it and so on. But at the end, a lot of stuff is managed by the platform itself. Mm -hmm. So we don't have any insights, we always have a dependency to Microsoft in this case. So the mm -hmm. only thing what we can do is we can take a look at the logs and if we need more details, we have the open support case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Problem is uh, we have to deal with delays and so on. Yeah, and at the end we're wasting a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. especially in a production environment, you would like to get the insights immediately. Yeah, and this is basically what I would like to show you today. Cool. So let's move on with our first use case, and we have three different views here. Yeah, mm -hmm. on the left side um, we have the use experience, and in this case we can see in the title it's a plugin performance, and that means we have some kind of custom code, we have some specific event from the platform, and this event will trigger that user code, yeah. And in this case, it takes seven seconds approximately. Mm -hmm. So in the first screen, you see, okay, the user has to wait seven seconds. Yeah, that's quite annoying, right? So at the end, they can call the internal support uh, team and say, okay, we have some issues, and this is what we see in the logs. So basically, we have some system administrator permissions. You can see that. If you see, okay, 1.7 seconds, whatever, yeah, it's not useful, yeah. yeah. We know it's low, but we cannot do anything. Right. Mm -hmm. And on the right side with open telemetry, this is what we would like to see. This is our goal. Because here we can see the entry point and every single step, every single line of code. So we can easily identify what is the root cause of our problem like here, right? Yeah, it's really cool. So that means on the left side, this is how somebody that uses Power Platform experiences a bad performance um, you know, scenario. But then the platform itself only gives very limited information. And you guys with your technology get insights and expose that insights through open telemetry and then sending it to Dynatrace. Looks great on PowerPoints. How does it look in real life? Yeah, let's do that. So let me switch to my live environment here. And I would like to mention that as well, a very important point is this is a vanilla environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you only have two custom plugins here, it's just normal deployment. You have to show you a demo there, mm -hmm. but you don't have to configure anything. Yeah, of course, the environment is connected to Dynatrace via Open Telemetry and our platform, but the setup is very easy. Yeah? Yeah. And that means you don't have to customize your whole development circle. Yeah? You can basically keep it as this yeah, and just enable the integration. So let's move on and say, OK, I would like to change the title. Mm -hmm. So what I do here is I change the title, then I click Save. 
and behind the scenes, the system will trigger some plugins. Yeah, you have some mm -hmm. business events and so on, and at the end you have the execution of your code. And as you can see, that's, that's quite annoying. It takes a little while, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So what you can do is, of course, you can take a look at the logs and so on, uh, but as already said that you will waste a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So I've prepared uh, two use cases here. So this is basically our mm -hmm. full stack here, yeah? so end-to-end -end trees. Yeah. And as you can see, it took a little bit more than seven seconds. Yeah. And here we can see, okay, this is our entry point, our bad account plugin. And now let's find out, okay, what is the real problem here? And as you can see, okay, most of the stuff here is very fast. So we don't care about those calls. But when we move on, okay, we see mm. this one looks like a bottleneck, right? So let's see. Okay, it's a sweat sleep method. Obviously, that's a very bad one, yeah? yeah. But for our demo here, it really makes sense. And okay. We see the parameter as well. Yeah. And this is a very important one, yeah. So we have to wait a few milliseconds there, and at the end, uh, we're wasting the time there, yeah. So basically, you know, because I'm not an expert in, in Power mm -hmm. Platform, you have Power Platform, you install some plugins, and without any additional code changes, without any mm -hmm. configuration, you get full code level insights, and you're exposing this through open telemetry, allowing you to pinpoint, hey, some of the developers here put in bad code that is mm -hmm. slowing things down. Not only do you see the method, you also see all the arguments uh, here, which makes it obviously very easy to publish it. Exactly, exactly. And of course, you have all the, of the capabilities of Dynatree. So you can basically create some alerts and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You can basically create dashboards. You can yeah. monitor the whole environment. Yeah. So our platform is basically an extension to Power Platform, but you can use all capabilities of Dynatree. And That's this awesome. is what makes it so great. Yeah. yeah. So this is our performance use case. So as you can see, you can basically uh, go into the details, see the insights for every single call. Mm -hmm. But let's move on to a second interesting use case. Mm -hmm. uh, let me switch back to my slides there. What is more interesting than performance? For me, performance is everything. Yes, obviously, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's a more interesting thing, yeah. Um, but yeah, another thing is exceptions, of course. Mm -hmm. And usually exceptions is a little bit easier to trace because at the end you have some kind of um, exception and some kind of message, you know, okay, more or less what's going on, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but the problem is in an environment like Microsoft Power Platform, it's very limited, yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually, there's two different uh, things you have to consider. Uh, if you have some kind of unexpected exception, you will see something like this, just some mm -hmm. common error message, uh, no details at all, yeah. And if you wrap the message in a specific SDK exception, you will see a little bit more, but at the end, you won't see anything uh, like a uh, spec trace or details or whatever. Yeah? yeah. So we have the same thing here, uh, the user experience. So this is basically what the user sees. And you then you got the, the log file, but it's not better, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, at the end, it's just okay. You got the entry point here, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, some plugin exception without any details. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And usually you try to, okay, go through the logs, and then at the end, you have to compare the code and whatever, and then the guess, the variables and stuff. So you're wasting a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the right side, this is what we would like to see. Yeah? Yeah. So in this case, okay, we have the full trace. We have a couple of plugins, uh, and we have the filter, of course. And this is what we would like to see. So it's very easy to know exactly what's going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But again, let's move back to our live demo here. And what we got here is so uh, same scenario. And so here we are. So we got the account form again, mm -hmm. but in this case. Um, I would like to highlight, okay, we have our account here, and on the right side we see, okay, we got two related accounts, mm -hmm. uh, two related contacts. So let's do something else. Let's say, okay, um, I would like to add the title, but also add a fax number. Yeah. And I thought we were in 2024. Is fax still a thing? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, <laughs> for me, it's still funny to do that. Yeah, so <laughs> let's move on. Yeah. Um, and now I will press the save button again. In this case, I just use the shortcut for that, but it's the same scenario. And it's still long. It's still long. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, I forgot in my use case, the fax number must be at least four digits to start the verification process. Ah, okay. And now immediately we have an exception. Yeah. Ah. And as I already said, okay, this is our user experience. Yeah, this is pretty useless. Mm -hmm. And when you basically can force the users to download the log file, which is in most cases not easy, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you will get something like this. Yeah. And mm -hmm. at the end, yeah. Um, it's not yeah. very telling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you have something like this and whatever. So 
And even if I change something, it depends on the message. Um, I can change this and that, and yeah. at the end, you will get something like this. Yeah, yeah. So let's see what we should see in the back end. And here, as I already said, we have a couple of filters there. And this is a very cool thing, a very cool feature about OpenTelemetry. You can define your filter range and the range to type. And type exception means, OK, we will see it directly in Dynatrace. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we got the same stack trace here. Mm -hmm. And now let's break it down to the exception. Yeah? So we can skip all of those calls. And now we'll see, OK, there's something related to facts. Yeah? If you take a look at this one, verified yeah. facts. And here we got the exception. Yeah? And now we see, OK, a great exception. That means, OK, yeah. something happened uh, and it has been wrapped, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so let's take a closer look at that. And we can see, OK, the end exception is something related to HTTP. Mm -hmm. And the code was trying to resolve a DNS name invalid or invalid. OK, it makes sense because it's obviously invalid. Yeah. But let's check uh, if it really makes sense uh, if we take a look at the parameters. And this is another interesting feature here. Uh, we saw that uh, in the previous use case with mm -hmm. the milliseconds. Mm -hmm. But here we see a custom parameter for the HTTP request. It's HTTPS uh, invalid or invalid. Yeah. So basically, whoever implemented this plugin and then installed it, mm -hmm. call the HTTP request with an mm -hmm. invalid URL. So it's a configuration mistake, or I mean, it's mm -hmm. a, yeah, and it's super easy. Everything is here. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And if you compare that to a real world use case, yeah, usually those URLs they're not directly hard coded in the code. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you retrieve this on configuration. Yeah. And sometimes you don't have access to the system directly, so you have to talk to some people and stuff. You're wasting a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. And now you can see it directly. Yeah. yeah. And basically yeah. comparing this with the text file you downloaded earlier. I mean, exactly. It's like, it's exactly. Like night, night and day. Yeah. Exactly. So awesome. Wow. And all of this, again, I'm not an expert in Power Platform, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of people are using it. Yeah. And a lot of people struggle, obviously, mm -hmm. to optimize it from a performance perspective, to do troubleshooting. Yeah. Now you provide insights into this black box and mm -hmm. exposing this data through the open standard, open telemetry. Yeah which means we can ingest it into Dynatrace next to all of the other data that you have. Wow. Uh, do we have, uh, can you show us maybe a little bit on what it takes, uh, maybe an overview or what, what do people, what should people do if they're interested in? Yeah, sure. Um, um, let me go back to the other slides. Uh, we still have a few things left. Uh, so this is basically a high level overview of what we do behind the scenes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, you got the database environment, yeah, where we collect the telemetry data, and then we send it to our server to process the data. Yeah. Because the real challenge in a black box is you have to connect to different traces. Mm -hmm. You have different IDs, you have asynchronous processes, and so on. Yeah, but it only really makes sense if you have the end-to-end -end process, including everything. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And this is what we do in our platform. So we collect the data, we add some metadata on top of that, and then we build the whole package send it to Dynatrace, and then you have the end-to-end capabilities. Cool. And a very interesting feature as well is, uh, of course, you can connect the Power Platform telemetry data to other environments collected by the own agents. Mm -hmm. So at the end, you can monitor your whole environment, including Power Platform and all other web applications and stuff like that. Yeah? Yeah. And this is a very cool integration. So you have the whole thing, yeah, and you don't miss anything. Yeah? So, yeah. Very cool. Hey, uh, Robert, I think you're also listed on the Dynatrace hub, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Perfect. So folks, um, if you're interested in this, if you're using Microsoft Power Platform, if you've ever struggled with anything that Robert has just shown, uh, go on to the Dynatrace Hub, as you can see here. Uh, search for Microsoft Power Platform Observability. Get in touch with Robert. You have a lot of experience yep. and have helped many organizations already. And uh, I'm really happy that we also have open standards like open telemetry that make integrations like this so easy. Yeah. Totally agree with you. So it was amazing to do the integration. Yeah. And again, I'm very happy to be here today and to have this conversation. Yeah. yeah cool. Hey, with this, uh, thanks everyone. Uh, greetings from mm -hmm. Linz. We're actually mm -hmm. in the office today here together. And uh, I'm sure you will be back. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So see you next time. Then, Thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye. -bye.